least it didn't suck as bad as I thought it did. I mean, let's face it, when the synopsis was announced, I was thinking this was going to be a mix between Sisterhood Social and Sleepless in Ponyville, and I was somewhat loathing it because it's been done, pure and simple. But you know what? I was surprised. In the midst of all that, and at its core, this episode gave a great comparison between two sets of characters, and those being Rarity and Sweetie Belle and Celestia and Luna. It's a tad surprising that the former pair has this big misunderstanding that spawned years and years of some repressed feelings. Usually, Rarity and Sweetie just kind of have simple misunderstandings about sisterly kind of things. No harm, no foul. I think it's a stretch that they can be compared to Celestia and Luna, but at the same time, I like the comparison. And the conflict itself, I guess the main six are cool about working for Rarity after that tight spot, but it's a tad cruel that Sweetie goes to such lengths. Don't make Rarity cry again. Is this out of character even for the circumstances that surround Sweetie? I mean, the play was garbage, but aren't the adult ponies supposed to be less cruel about it? Good job at that play, guys! It was fantastic! Even though it wasn't really. I guess Sweetie and the gang are at the point where they're old enough to take it, but still, those adults are assholes. I mean, still, the episode gets points for the return of Sapphire Shores, and shows that Rarity is making progress in her fashion career, instead of just being stuck in Ponyville forever. Continuity! And character development. Overall, it was a good episode. The conflict was a tad forced, the pacing was a little rushed, but overall it offered a surprise character study that was enjoyable. Well done, Dave. He is my favorite writer. Sometimes. God, please, no! 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 And since someone's gonna make these jokes anyway, you know, I am the reference queen. Might as well. Look, who are you? I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know, you told me that. Why would you show me this if I was past all hope? <laughs> I, I will honor Christmas and try to keep it all the year. See, I used that last bit of audio from the Muffet's Christmas Carol because nostalgia and references. I gotta start writing longer scripts with actual content. Mm -hmm.